and welcome to the Slip Slip Sis YouTube channel. I'm Che. I'm Gabs. And we are coming to you with this evening time podcast, our first podcast of 2024 and our first podcast in three months. We went a little vlog heavy at the end of 2023. So we are coming to you with our first real podcast with all the different steps. We're a little out of practice, so we'll see how it goes. Um, Today is Sunday, January 14th. I'm coming to you from Southern California. Gaz is coming to you from Northern California. And you can find all of our information down below in the description, accompanied by lots of other information. If there's ever anything that I've missed down there, just put in a comment, email us, let me know what you want to know more about. But we are going to jump right in, unless I've forgotten something else. And well, what episode number is this, Che? Because I sure don't know. Oh, that's a great question, Gabs. It is episode 32 because I checked it just before this. Prepared. Excellent. Over to you. <laughs> All right. So also our first thing of 2024, actually, I released, yeah, if I released this in 2024, is we have a new pattern out. It's called the Cecilia hat, which is named after our, after our maternal grandmother, whose name is Cecilia. And uh, we call her Vubby. And um, so the hat was knit in, I don't have the hat because I gave it to her for her birthday or Christmas. Um, because Chaley and I sometimes try to outdo each other, not only in gifting each other, but like in giving other presents. So Chaley gave Bubby a full blanket. So I had to make, I had to design a hat with her name on it. Um, so I knit this out of Knit Picks Hawthorne fingering weight, and it's called Sweet Home Tonal, and it's hand painted. Um, and the design, which you can we'll put in the description box or you can also see in our Instagram it's a hat and it's got twisted rib for the brim and it's a lace um yeah, so I'll just put the picture in oh. I was complaining about putting pictures in before but I'll just I'll put the pictures in <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to do my best describing so Chaley wouldn't have to put a picture in um and all the prep Proceeds from the pattern will go to Room to Read, which is a nonprofit based out of San Francisco, and it serves uh, to pro help provide tuition for girls to go to school in the developing world. Um, girls' education is something that is really uh, important to our important to us. I mean, we're both in education, um, but important to our grandmother. She didn't get to fully explore her educational opportunities. Um, because of some family obligations when she was young so when we have the chance to do them she's always right there she's like never like we were applying she's like don't worry I'll take out a second mortgage if you can't afford tuition I got so it's very important to her she also donates a lot so um check that out I will do like a transparency post every like quarterly so you can see that I'm actually donating um so yeah check it out but also I have a skein of this yarn that is that we are now giving away so you can knit your own Cecilia hat or whatever the heck you want out of it. This is the color that I knit it in as well. It's a sweet home tonal and the prompt is I already what forgot it. Was your favorite subject in school? And or I think I'm gonna expand it, is there a subject you wish you had gone to take in school? Would you like to say what yours was, Gabs, very briefly? Oh, I actually, okay, so I'm a drama teacher, but I never actually took drama in school. So my favorite actual subject that I learned and learned the most from was my AP United States history class. Mm. The most terrifying man taught it, literally the most, yeah, he was terrifying. I kind of feel like I liked my world teacher, but I didn't actually like world history. So if I had to pick subject, I think I would pick a subject that I didn't actually get to take. And I wish I had, I wish we had a class like a culinary arts class, because that sounds like fun. And a lot of other schools that I now visit in my current role have things like this. And I want to take that class. That's really cool. Our high school where I teach now um, offered NJR NJROTC, and I'm like, I think I would have liked to be like, like to have had that opportunity, mm -hmm. right, to even explore that. But mm -hmm. 
We, yeah, high schools these days seem to have lots of cool stuff. The early 2000s seems to have been a bad time. Mm, there was probably no child left behind. Yeah. Probably, probably that. There were some issues. Yeah, and some presidential administrations. Here we are. Uh, okay, so we're going to jump into the FOs. And I'm going to kick us off with my first one of 2024. It's technically one-ish or two-ish. Um, so I, if you haven't seen Vlogmas, check out my Vlogmas 2023. During that time, I worked on the Freckled Whimsy 24 Stripe Advent, and I got a DK version of it. And it ended up being the longest tube and two of the longest tubes ever. Cause I, you get, I've got the kind where you had the ball split for you. And so I knit them at the same time. So I had these long babies and they were going to be much too long for socks that I would ever wear, um, as a single pair. So I split them and I did an afterthought everything. So each tube got split in half. So I actually ended up with four socks and two and two pairs that actually match. So here is sock number one um, that goes with like, this is its buddy that it goes with and it ended up pretty good, pretty even. The stripes basically match, I would say. And then this is pair number two and it's corresponding buddy you they look very similar because towards the end the colors oh. like it started to repeat you can just tell that it's going in opposite order here um so basically the two was like this and then I cut it in half so this is actually I guess this would mean a pair number one because this was day number one and then we ended with this brown which was 24 and then it picked up for the rest of the days and I just used the rest of the yarn so that I would have like good size good length socks for both and so I'm pretty pleased with these and this pair is how I discovered my new obsession for 2024 which is called the DK afterthought heel but we'll go over to you Gabs all right so January is my whip down month and this one I went deep into the vault for my whip down because my parents our parents are cleaning out their house for the bajillion of time and they finally brought me a bunch of my old stuff that I stored there like forever um so these three whips I'm not showing it I don't worry I'll alternate with my sister are from 2015. It is 2024. they are almost a decade old of double digis. So the first one, because it's on top, is um a it's it was it's done. I'm very proud of it. It is the princess crochet along, queen crochet along from Kristen Ballering. Uh she's a South African designer. It the pattern was completely run on through a Facebook group. And like halfway through the Facebook, this was in 2016, halfway through the Facebook th- group crochet along something went awry and like she pulled the pattern and there was like a whole weird dust up and it was weird so I stopped being able to make it and then I figured I would just figure it out later and then when you go to her Ravelry now there's like three versions of this and they're all at different price points those are my children don't worry Daniel's there so I had to figure out how to finish it so this was the middle of it this mandala it was 2015 was a mandala time. So I had done all of this, buddy. I had done all of these individual little majiggies. And I had done all this granny square bit. It's a circle. And I had done all these little bloopers, these dot dots. And I was here. But I <laughs> I did not have the brain power when I pulled it back out to square it up. And it wasn't big enough to do anything. And some people were like, oh, do a like a Christmas tree skirt and I was like I'm not sticking crochet like I'm not going there I can't figure that out or <laughs> use it as a table topper it's not really my aesthetic so I went big big aesthetic of my Phoebe Hallowell and I turned it into a vest <laughs> so it actually came out okay like it's a vest okay uh, like it's very in right now it's got a toggle button so I never actually tried it on so hopefully this pans out Go off. And then it like, you know. Oh, me... yeah. That is. Yeah, really... yeah. So it's very early 2000s look, but I figure it's coming back. So, yeah, I that's how I did it. The It took me forever. 
I, the first time I made it, it looked like I was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Um, cause I just had a shell on my back. So it turns out I can't fudge crochet the way I can fudge knit. So I actually had to follow a pattern. So then I followed the spring sun circle vest pattern. And I did that, which is also a free pattern. And that's how I got my arms and then how to do this bit. Cause so all this front bit is what I added and it is knit out of lion brand pound of love this is actually quite warm right now even though it's a vest my back is very warm <laughs> so it goes down i'm five one it goes down about to my knees you're only five one yes chaley oh god um Shody. i am i'm fun sized wow. so that's this i'm actually very proud that i actually did it and it looks like a thing and i'm gonna wear it to school see all I right toggle button but yeah, I had to block that baby half to death. All right, what you got, Shay? Well, I got some more. So I only have socks, so <laughs> I'm stuck in my vest. Okay, great. Just work with that. So this was also um, a whip from 2023. These, I apologize for my bad lighting here, but these were just some vanilla socks that I was working on, um, which was kind of like a jam we love a good vanilla sock the colorway is what are you doing for god's sake how are you trapped in a vest it's knit remember how we're like i have a cute little selfie for this and you're absolutely unhinged this is the this is why this is why we can't have nice things because <laughs> you trapped yourself in your vest okay carry on the main color of this is holiday hangover from dragon horde yarn and then the contrast is earl gray fiber company loose seal which i got from the 2020 netflix and chill advent and i did a pop of color cuff which is a technique from the crazy sock lady vanilla and an afterthought heel i like it i'm done now now that you've escaped from the death <laughs> trap of a garment okay so continuing the theme oh look shocker it's also white um we talked about this last time I couldn't afford much so this is and I decided white was timeless and I'm really glad that my 2015 self decided that and not some trendy color because I didn't finish it for nine years and white is pretty timeless right like it fits so I have no idea what the pattern on for this is I'm sure it was another crochet along and I made so all these squares that were here were loose. I had 24 loose squares, which was perfect for a blanket. Um, and I had them and then I joined them together using it's double crochet join as you go method. And they're all together now. And they are a blanket for my youngest. And it came out pretty good. It is pretty wonky, but I blocked it acrylic and it actually worked pretty great to block the acrylic. Wow. Um, so that oh no the worst oh. on the blanket look what i just found did you not weave it in or is it just there i just didn't weave it in because you know there was a million of those suckers <clears throat> so i finished this one too this one was also from 2015 2016 so i'm very proud of myself since my parents brought us our parents brought us the blanket i have the box of my unfinished whips i have finished one two three four five Four crochet blankets, a quilt, and my Phoebe Hallowell vest, which is now what I'm calling it. That's okay. They can be just your parents because my, my parents said, oh, that's okay, Che. You can clean out your stuff when you get to it. <laughs> so your parents brought you that. My parents were like, it's okay. If you're not, if you haven't been here for us the whole time, Chaley is the little sister. <laughs> <laughs> all right what else did you finish Jay? um I also so in 2023 Gavs and I did a monthly sock swap and we decided that's too much so we are now doing a quarterly sock swap but I get nervous when things are hanging over me and so I have finished said sock swap for the first quarter already we are doing the love story socks which is a pattern by the crazy sock lady and I know the main color is hypnotic yarn. I believe it's cherry blossom. 
Um, Gabs, I think you said this was from one of your advents from Dragon Horde Yarn and Yarn Cafe. Um, I know that this one is from Earl Grey Fiber Company's Flora and Fauna. I'm pretty sure that this one is Fuzzy Whatnots. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, And I'm yeah. not entirely sure what this purpley one is. But we the theme that my sister has informed me is love nymph. So the love nymph socks have since it's been in cottage core-ish. Ah, ta-da, all done. And now I don't have to do anything until April. Yeah. Until April. So I don't have this one. Um, so you're going to have to follow us on Instagram or Chaley's going to have to put in a picture because it's still drying. Um, this was the, my longest standing whip forever. And it was, it is my Sophie's universe. Um, if you're not familiar with Sophie's universe, it is a absolute monstrosity of a project. It is done in 20 parts. It was a crochet along by Deidre Deidre Ace. Why did you uh, start this? Oh my God. Started in 2015 in the middle of the crochet along. So the story with this is I joined a crochet, knit and crochet group when I was in grad school. Um, Cause I wanted to have friends that weren't in the theater. Cause surprise, surprise, theater people are dramatic. Um, so so um, I went there, saw another woman working on it. She's like, Oh, it's a crochet along that just started. Immediately wanted to cite, do it too. Um, took myself to the local Joanne and bought the Lion brand because I had a coupon. And then I was crocheting along, crocheting along, crocheting along, doing it. And um, I don't know, I just stalled out. And then I picked it back up this year. And the joke in the family is like, how's your Sophie's Universe going, Gabs? And now I can be like, great, it's done. Weren't you doing two? Don't worry. There, there's more in this episode, Chaley. Don't worry. Um it was very, it's very challenging. Actually, the Sophie's Universe was my second ever crochet project. So I made one pot holder and then decided that I could make the Sophie's Universe. You always do stuff like this. So, which I did. It turned out fine. I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials by a lovely woman named Esther. Um, and it was great. And it's, I stalled out for a while, but I have fixed it. It is done and it is mine. I'm not giving it to anybody because, oh my gosh, it was so much work. Oh, I should download that picture of you laying on it to put in here. Oh yeah. No, it is. It was so much work. Never again. Fair. So it's done. And I, now my most, I guess my oldest whip is now from 2017. So I've like jumped forward two whole years, but there isn't, there's like, there's one from 2017 and then the rest are 2023. Like there's not a bunch in the middle. Like, and I'm, I'm, that's one of the whips I'm going to talk to you about later. Stay tuned. What was the, do you remember the blanket you made for grandma that was pink <laughs> and purple? What was that? That was an around the bases cow. So same as what Daniel got. Yes. But the center was different. Grandma had that, that like really um, dense flower. It's called a crocodile flower. Right. I think that was one of the fire blankets. No, she took it with her to, to the, um, to Carlton. Oh, uh, Okay. Okay, I have one last FO. What you got? Which is my sunflower sock is what I'm calling them. So these are my first yarn of 2024 that is coming out of the stash because we did a stash video. Feel free to check that out. Um, but I didn't count any of my whips in them so into my stash so this is the first one that actually got to be like a minus from my stash which is very exciting I'm telling Gabs I'm feeling very motivated um by the things we have going on to finish stuff because then I get to put a little tally mark next to my finished things and to use my yarn um so that I can feel that sense of accomplishment and write it in my journal so this is a DK sock that I did this is where like the obsession is coming through with the afterthought heel because I started these on Wednesday I would say yeah Wednesday evening and I finished them yesterday and I also in that same time finished these so I think these took me like maybe like three hours it's it's ridiculous like because it's only 80 
that I have 80 rows that I have to do for the entire tube. And then the toe is so much faster. And so is the heel because it's DK and it's decreasing. So fantastic, huge fan. The colorway is Grow With The Flow, which was my set, no, August Yarnable color um, for my this year's, this past August Yarnable subscription. So this was my last one. So I think I'm just going to fly through these suckers. And I have put this aside for my sister um, if she wants to use it for her Battenberg. So that means it is not mine anymore. So it is a full minus for me. Excellent. That's it. All right. What you got? I got three whips. What you got? Me too. Do we want to start with the one that we both have? Okay. Plus, you're going to die when I show you what I'm doing for one of them. You're going to oh, say, no. oh, God, Gabs. For for not the one that we're doing together? The one that no, we're doing not together. the one we're doing together. The, the 2017 Sophie. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Sometimes I just do these things just to perturb my sister. I really feel like I have been personally victimized by Gabrielle Koizumi. <laughs> Made you strong. <laughs> like, raise your hand if you've been personally victimized. <laughs> me <laughs> just just me okay right. you go or you can tell them what it is so we are making a magic knot ball crochet granny stripe, granny stripe chevron blanket i found a not that great tutorial on <laughs> it's the truth it's not great a not that great tutorial <laughs> On it this is like late night by late night we mean 6 45 in the evening and gabs is unhinged um let's be real i never had hinges in the first place um i found a not that great tutorial and chaley and i kind of followed it but mostly i kind of wung it and then chaley called me when she got confused which was the method i'm sure there's lots of patterns for it it's it's granny stripe right it's a granny square there's double crochet i've also adjusted it since then because i decided some things were unnecessary yeah it's double crochets. That's basically it in a couple chains. Like, it's pretty easy. You want to show it, Che? I'll show yours. Where is my... Oh, my, I'm in the middle of a row. I thought we were showing it at the same time. Okay, ready? Okay, hold on. Let me get ready, kind of. Oh, golly, Jesus. Okay, hold on. Get well, ready. You a super cool stitch marker like I did. Oh. Well, I was working on it. So I was in the heat of the moment. And Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready, steady, Go! Why is yours so little? What? I don't know, because you... Wow, you've got a lot of pink in your... The pink? That's a lot of pink. Oh, I like yours, though. Thank you. Do you see this giant strip of purple and orange? At least it's a variegade, right? You're so absolutely I'm... unhinged with the amount of that colorway that you put. There was a limit. There was a 10 gram limit on how much of one yarn you're supposed to put in. And this thing made like six rows. That's and I was like, how? Like I was ready to cut it and pull it and just re-magic knot to the next color because I couldn't. I think that's why mine got so big because I was just trying to complete that one damn color. Dang color, yeah, sorry. Because we're trying to do, I, at least I'm trying to do one like color a day. Okay, but then also you did some things to me like, remember how you were telling me that there was going to be little strips? See this little brown here? Uh -huh. it was little pink, 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 little brown, gray. And I'm like, What? Like, this is absolutely completely on brand. You know how, like, some YouTubers are not authentic? This is just who I am all the time. Like, this is crazy. I mean, it's super fun, right? What does your magic knot ball look like now? Oh. Oh, you're on brownie. Yeah. Well, okay. So I was like, started, I was like, ah, oh, crap. This is when Chaley started doing her fall themed. And Lottie's like, and this looks like Halloween, mama. I'm like, I know. Auntie Chaley was finishing her Halloween song. Like, There's also probably a lot of brown because that's what I use for a lot of the contrasts for mom's socks. Yeah. But there is this like hot purple color that I'm really excited to get to. What the heck was that for? I don't know. Um, I'm sure I could scroll back through our Instagram. It's probably heels, toes, and cuffs, but I really like it. It's coming. It's speedy. Like it's, it's so real, fun. 
It's really sweet. I would make this again. And I have this very cute stitch marker that my husband made for me. It is our Slip Slip Sis logo on a Shrinky Dink. He, he traced it and colored it, and then we baked it in the toaster oven. And he put it on this thing, and he drilled off the hole, and now I have a Slip Slip Sis. Custom. Right? Oh, nice. For my sister blanket, which I thought was, like, apropos. So... I like nice. it. It's, we're holding it double with knit picks, uh, bear, some kind of sparkle. Stroll glimmer. Stroll glimmer. I'm uh, using a bigger hook than Gab's. I'm using a J, which is a six millimeter. <laughs> it's kind of cozy. Yeah, I really like it. I would. I'm definitely gonna make another one of these suckers. I'm obviously in a cro in my crochet blanket era. I right. feel that I do everything about a year after Nitty Natty does things, except van life. Don't ever catch me doing van life. No, it's not part of your journey. No, absolutely not. Um, so yes. What bag do you have yours in? I have mine in my Erin Lang bags. Useful. This is um a project bag that my mother in law made me. It is friends themed. Mine closes technically like so. Oh, be nice. Very nice. All right. Would you like to go, Gabs? Sure. I will talk about my muscle burra because I am doing the monster muscle burra knit along hosted by, I think her name is Sue Karn. Karn. And, Karn and then Circle Stitches. And I think her name is maybe... I want to say Zoe, but I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. I should have looked it up. Um, and it's basically a scrappy muscle burra hat, which is by Isolde Teague. So I'm making this one. And it's Ooh. very scrappy. I really like it. I'm into it. Tell so, me about that other side. Oh, okay. So this color that starts is Rebel Woolworks Dreams colorway and then all of the stripes going through it are from the porter wool company's bookish advent it's my leftovers because we made a blanket how many oh, rows you do per stripe five mm -hmm. but disclaimer if you like how mine looks you should do seven you should do seven not five. Right. With my row I was gauge. thinking about doing eight for mine. Because my row gauge and my regular gauge is much bigger than anybody else's in the whole world. Okay. So if you like this, do seven, not five, because then you'll knit five. You'll be like, mine doesn't, what happened? Because, yeah. Yeah, because I um, think these are five stripes. Yeah. Ones. Um. So then I did this, and then I transitioned to my sister's Rose City Yarn Crawl color leftover colorways. And then because it kind of went with this, it turned, the stripes turned, and now it's a muscle burrow. So you'll have, you can either have like a dark, stripey, Shaylee says it looked kind of like a beetle, and it does. It totally does. And then this side, I ran out of striping, so it's mostly just the variegade with a couple stripes. So when you flip the brim up, it might, it'll be probably just all that solid color. I have no idea what this is going to look like once you put it all together. Because I like you can't stuff it up. I guess it's gonna be similar to like this, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Huh. Or like this. Cute. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I'm on the decreases right now. I am using US ones. That is speedy. Yeah, it was really fast. I did US ones. Um, I'm using the. I'm getting six stitches per inch. So if you do the math, I get 24 stitches over four inches on US ones. Most people get 32 stitches. Wait, yeah. can you hold it up again so I can see the bottom? Okay. 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 I'm not you... sure what to do with, with mine because you know how I want to do the 24 stripes. Oh, so what I did was, is I knit in the solid color until huh. I did the, um, until I got through all the increases because I did it. Okay. Hopefully you're, I, this is fine. I didn't want it to look like a nipple. <laughs> oh, which mine would cause it's pink. Yeah. So so do you I, think I should do the gray in between the pinks again? Yeah, yeah I do. 
because I didn't want it to, that was really the concern is because I saw some people's because everybody's doing the monster muscle burr knit along right now. And there was some nipplage. So what if I did like seven and three? Mm -hmm. Cause then it would, it should, because it's 24 colors. Mm -hmm. So basically be like 240 row. No. Right. Yeah, yeah. Rows. Plus the, the plus the, the hat. Yeah, but I, I, I would wear good. it probably slouchy anyways, right? Yeah, I think and the good. other side, I think I would do all plain. Uh-huh. Of maybe a different pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm glad that we worked this out together live. Well, live. Yeah, I, think, you know, I, think that, <laughs> I think that works. See, this, this is my 2024 ask gab. So like, what do you think about this? Yep. Yep. This is just who we are all the time. What else are you making, Che? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Let's go. I'm going to put down what I'm actually working on and show you my, because I'm in a striping zone. Um, so I'm really trying to use up, like like a good girl, I'm trying to use up my yarnies. And so I'm working on a project that uses up my Suburban Stitcher advent. I got a very pink Christmas advent from Suburban Stitcher. And so I already made one granny square right? Out of each of the yarns. And that's going to go into the pink scrappy granny that I'm making for myself. And so I decided to make some stripey socks out of it. Realized I'm not doing very much. I'm not reusing very much in each stripe. So this is why now I'm going to reuse the yarns left over from these socks for the hat Gabrielle and I were just, just discussing. Um, Cause I'm making these stripey socks Yep, and I they, like those. Thank you. They are kind of reminding me of Mean Girls. Um, so I might wear them in solidarity. Fetch, Chaley. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? You're making fetch work right now. Um, so <laughs> I... Okay, shh, it's my turn, guys. Um, now I lost it, what I was saying. So I am just picking out of my bag here to use a stripe. And so I, but I originally thought I was going to do all 24 on each sock, but that's going to be much too long of a sock for me. So I wanted to do 12 because then it would like use each one, but then 12 was too short. So I decided to do 15 stripes. Um, and I just pulled randomly. I have another bag that had the original set of them. And now since I've used them, I put them in this bag and I did five rows for the big, the big stripe, if you will. And then for the in-betweener stripe, I just did two rows and the gray color that you see on these is baby bunny from barnyard knits. And I'm on to my second one. And so obviously like 15 is in an even split. So once I get through the yarns I haven't used, I will just pull a random three um, to get to the number that I need to for these. But I've already used these, right? And you're like, girl, that's heck a yarn. So I think I have like six, 15 or 16 grams left of these. Oh, dude. That's I know. You can make something other than that muscle burrow too. Well, that's why I was like, maybe I like, I'm like, should I do 10 rows on it? But I'm like, this is a lot of the use of this advent. So I guess I feel like I'm really getting my money's worth out of the advent because I think the advent was like 220, 230, 200 something dollars. Um, like and I, that feels familiar. Maybe it was 240 with like tax and shipping. Um. So it'll go to my blanket. It's going to these socks. It's going to go to a hat. And then I don't know, but I'm sure I'll have more leftovers and they'll definitely go into a magic knot ball at some point, which is for another blanket. So it's based at least four projects that this yarn is going to be used in. So I do feel like it has been economically efficient. So I'm working on these and I'm kind of obsessed with them. So once I'm done podcasting with gaps, um, I'm going to see if I can finish all the stripes tonight. Because I have to go to work tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited about my pinky stripies. Still my turn? Yeah, this is the crazy thing, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's this thing. So, I am making a stool. Well, I mean, the stool was made already. I am making a Sophie's Universe stool. I painted this with my daughter. I'm also making an independent video on this so you can see the whole process. Um, I painted the stool. I found it. Mine now. 
Um, I find a lot of stuff on the side of the road. If you haven't watched our vlog, Mrs., that happens to me a lot. So that's how I get a lot of stuff. Um, and then I'm going to make a stool cover for it because I do, Chaley was right, I do have another Sophie's Universe. And this is where I am. Oh, look at the wee thing. That, yep. It's really tiny. And honestly, I'm never going to make another Sophie's Universe because it takes so long. So this, let me put it on it. This is going to be that, the stool cover. So it's going to go on top of it. Precious. On the, on the seat. And then um, the feet, are. it goes up like this far. They're going to have little crocheted feet on it in the stripy rainbow color as well. So um, this is a like a, I guess a mod that the designer did. Um, so I'm kind of just following her pattern. She has a different kind of stool. It's shorter and it's got a really like deep cushion base, but I wasn't going to buy that because it ships from the UK and shipping furniture from the UK felt like that was going to be horrible. Dollar bills. So I have the um, kit is from Wool Warehouse and it is in the shapes i can't say it i've listened to many youtube videos it's really rough i'm so sorry <laughs> i can't make it good um, it's cotton eight and one more time for those of us in the back i'm so sorry i i swear like i like my sister's name is chaley like i'm really aware of like pronouncing things correctly i've listened to many youtube pronunciations and I can't make my voice do it properly so I'm so sorry um it's cotton eight my husband bought me a kit when we were newly married and he was so sweet but I don't like crocheting with cotton yarn it turns out so I'm gonna finish my Sophie's universe stool and then I'm going to make with my leftovers because there are 18 balls of cotton yarn I, yeah I know because it's for a full gigantic blanket um, I'm going to make another blanket out of it. I'm going to make a Josephine blanket out of it. So it's less complicated than the Sophie's universe. And then with the Lowe's leftovers, I'm going to make some dishcloths and I'm not going to use them as dishcloths. I use them as hot compresses for my eyeball. Whatever happened to that kit that grandma bought for you that then she took yarn from, but she never used. So now you've got the yarn back. It's in my closet. <laughs> but I didn't start it so it doesn't count as a whip it that is the Persian tiles blanket by Janie Croft and I plan to make that this year as well this is my year of blankets it's also my year of crocheting this is the most crocheting I've done in a very long time okay crochet girl yeah because the I only showed one knit thing yeah yeah and I am not that fast of a crocheter. I'm a much faster knitter. I taught myself how to crochet. I'm left-handed. So that doesn't always go so great in terms of watching YouTube videos to learn. I know that they have left-handed ones and I know that they mirror them, but that's not how I learned back in 2014. So, yes. Okay. And dad crochet much faster than I do. I don't know how. I guess because I'm right-handed. I don't know. It's the way you throw the yarn. I don't do it. I don't tension it properly. I think it's my long finger since you've got those stubbers. Yes, that's probably it too. But that's... You're going to love this yarn. Okay. So I, I, I also wanted to have a DK sock because I'm like continuing trying to de-stash. Um, but I didn't really feel called to any of the next yarnables that I had. So I thought I'd palette cleanse with this DK of a different one. And it is loud, capital L-O-U-D, loud. And so you have to make sure you don't finish your Battenberg before you get this color. Um, Cause you must have it in your Battenberg, Gavs. It is, this is the sock and it is dark. The lighting is not good right now. It is brighter than this. Um, let me get the ball out because you can kind yeah, of like, really. oh my gosh, it is electric. It is kind of sick and I kind of love it. Um, so, so this is Desert Panda Fiber Arts and the colorway is born this way. Um, so it's got this beautiful neon rainbow with also, um, they did the 
like white and light pink and blue, which is like the trans pride colors. So I love these socks and I will have plenty left over from my sister. And I figured she wouldn't be that mad about me, mad at me for me giving these to her because it's sick. Um, yeah, really cool. And I you're going to have a use for it for okay. your, I know it's going to go in your baton work and then you'll get back to me. That's our system is that I knit with, I knit, I crochet my bat, my six Battenberg squares. And then whatever's left, I give back to Chaley for her DK magic novel. So for a hot second, Chaley looks like she doesn't have a bunch in her stash, but then I give it back to her. I don't count the magic novel as part of stash. Oh, I counted mine. No, I didn't count mine. Cause I decided it was like ready for another project. So it's not in there. Oh yeah. But this was smooshy DK born this way from desert panda fiber so i'm like and because i knew it was going to you i even used one of the bags you gave me which is my rugrats baggie excellent so i'm excited about these i'm mostly excited about you to get it so that so that you can also enjoy the bananas that is that color that's crazy it's a lot and it was like it looks even cooler in the ball because usually I feel like I'm sold on a yarn when it's in the skein, um, but it looks so fun in the ball. It kind of reminds me of like what are those light things, light brights? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um. So I have acquisitions. <laughs> oh, I have one. Okay. Would you like to go first, or shall I do all of mine? You can do all of yours because I forgot to fetch mine. Okay. I'll just start. So. I technically, technically, all of these things were first acquired slash paid for in 2023 before we started this. They just happened to arrive in 2024. Um, so the first, but one of these is the Yarnable, which I feel like also doesn't count because it's a subscription. I am still adding it into my count or whatever. Um but let's start off with what's most recent. So I there was a good sale and I'm easily sold by a good sale. Plus I had a coupon. Um, so I got this sock set from Amanda Knits and she's having, it might end, it might've ended yesterday, but she was having a 35% off sale, which I feel like you don't see a sale usually that high um, for yarn. Plus I had my own 40% off coupon. So I got this whole sock set for $13, um, oh. which is a hot deal. Like, so I'm like, good deal, good deal. And it's called, I'm surrounded by idiots, which is from the Lion King. It's a quote from Scar. And as the single auntie, I kind of resonate with Scar um, as like the younger sibling who's the black sheep. We are like the like lightest gray black sheep ever. Cause I'm like, I don't like to go out past 8 PM. Um, I do like very nothing rambunctious. Um, but I'm very excited about this sock set. So this is what I got from her. And then also Yarnaceous was having their sale where it's um, a mystery pack. And I also got my best friend Michaela into it. She bought herself like three yarns um, from it. She got a lot, maybe four. I don't remember, but it was a lot. I think um, it's like three. I think it was like two DK and maybe a fingering. Oh, right. It was what she got. And then I got one DK and one fingering. And because it was kind of like a cleaning out the shelves. Um, so the first one, this is the fingering. And Gabrielle looked up the name for me. I believe it's Aracaria, which is a plant. Do you remember anything of the things you Googled? It's like got a really really long trunk with like <laughs> on it and then the top is like <laughs> brilliant. I remember you was not that phrasing but when you said there is no phrasing I just stopped, started laughing because I am mature uh <laughs> yes that is this one which is kind of this fun gray which kind of reminds me of daddy um mm -hmm. this looks like a dad color and then I also got this fun DK and this one is called Athenocrinus. Athenocrinus. Also, I think a plant. Probably. Because I think she had like a whole like paleo botany collection yeah. going on. So this one's actually quite fun. I don't have a lot of like 
blues and greens. Big pink girl over here. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to say, Amanda also sent goodies along with, so this was like not purchased by Chaley. Um, this is Amanda's card. Um, and then it came with some extras. So I got some light bulb stitch markers and one of these plastic babies. And then it also came with all these stitch markers. So you, I got these kind of like, whoopsie, plain circle ones. It's really hard to see. Um, yeah, with a little bead on them. Yes. So those ones are great for kind of marking your spots. And then I got one, which is like a little cassette. It's doing super good right now. Good YouTuber. And the other one, which kind of looks like flounder from Little Mermaid. Yeah. Or um, Willem Dafoe's fish character in Finding Nemo. Yeah, that's who I was thinking too. And I, but I can't remember what his name is in the movie. Gil, 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 Gil. Gil. I got it. Gil, but I was, I, I was also like two weeks ago, days old, when I realized it was Willem Dafoe that was the voice of that fish, and was like, "Well, that makes sense." Mm -hmm. And then I texted your husband, was like, "Did you?" He knew that. Okay, and then my last thing is my Yarnable. So this is the January Yarnable. It did come with one other thing, but I've already used it. So it's not here. Um, the goodies included. So one of the goodies was the um, like cast on counters. So it was like kind, of, they were kind of like stitch markers, but they have like numbers on them. So like 25, 50, 75, 100. And so I used them when I was casting on my chevron blankie and have since left them in my living room, but I don't feel like getting them. So I got those. And then I also got these like caramel, like pe pecan caramels, but I am allergic to nuts. So I brought them to the office and they are now gone from us as well because the children have eaten them. And then the thing, a goodie I did get to keep uh, or I have with me is this super cute clock, oops, glare, stitch marker. It says 2024 on it. Um, so that was really cute. And I do really, really like the yarn um, for this month. And look at that. Ooh, I like that one. It's this nice kind of deep, um, got these nice deep burgundy and it's called How Time Flies. And I'm also pretty juiced about the February one um, as well. Yeah, that, one. that one's going to be cute. That one's going to be a goodie. Um, so those are all the things I have acquired thus far. So I am at plus three currently for my yarn brought in this month because I've only minus one. Okay, so I want a giveaway from um, Coven Collective um, back in, I guess, on October, and they just drew for it. I forgot I entered it. Um, so I got this super cool yarn. You can't, it's not reading very well at all. It's super dark and saturated, which is probably why it's not reading with my lovely fluorescent overhead. Um, it's a one of a kind um, finger. It's called on their hex fingering. It's 80% superwash wool, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. Um, and it's called, it's, their one of a kind is 300 AA. So I think that's just how they like code it. And it's a peculiar potion. Mm. So I really like it. It also came with this super cute project bag, which mm. I think is, oh, I think it's one of like their seconds because it's flawed on the inside because like this is marker it's like I think they used like they were trying to draw in the lines for the pockets but um it wasn't water soluble pen so which I don't really care about um because I'm still gonna use it. so it's got pockets in it it's super cute it's got one of those handles so you can knit and walk so it came out really cute it's got cute yarn balls in it um and that's my only acquisition that's arrived i did purchase a uh, fangirl fibers uh league of their own 12 day advent because i love a league of their own so much um and i but that doesn't arrive until june so that is a june acquisition right that's what i heard and it's 13 skeins but realistically i'm gonna knit 13 skeins between now and or crochet 
between now and June. You got it. Yeah. I'm already down. I started like, I started with 440 skeins of yarn and I'm at 427 already. So I'm good. Mostly in this muscle burra. This it's mostly this business. Mm-hmm. They were kind of little scrappity scrap scraps. So mm-hmm. I think it's good. Shall we do updates? My children are clamoring for me for bedtime. I don't think I really have any major updates other than I committed to the side part. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Um, I got new glasses for the first time in a decade. So finishing the whips from 2015, getting rid of the glasses from 2015. My prescription changed all the time, but I would just keep getting new lenses put in the old frames. So I'm still having trouble getting used to them with what I look like. My husband mostly picked them out. Not not in the like, he controls my life, pick them out. But in that, when you try on glasses, they don't have your prescription in the lens. So then you can't see. So I couldn't see myself in the glasses until the prescription's in them, right? So I, br- I bring him with them, with me to help he pick them. And these were the ones he said that looked the most me. Excellent choice. Yeah, my child, my older child, wanted me to have hot pink cat's eye rhinestones she's got great taste which I'm not like I'm not opposed to but like it's a look like if you're gonna wear cat's eye glasses you have to do like the heavy eyeshadow the mascara the red your hair kind of has to be like up I feel like you have to have the vibe for them which I think is a beautiful vibe but this is gabs every day right you have you have to commit commit to the bit I'm not and I'm not gonna commit to it and you kind of have to have like stylized attire right like big polka dots Oh, absolutely. It gives a, it gives a little like Kat Von D, Amy Winehouse, which I both love their looks, but I just, yeah, don't do that. I guess I do have an update. What's up? Like my work update. It's official now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then yes. You, should, you should share it. So my, up, I forgot that this is my update, but it is unrelated to knitting, but I'm excited to share that I have recently been promoted at my job and I now serve as the assistant director for undergraduate admission at Loyola Marymount University. Um, so that is very exciting. And I showed my students, my, or one of my students, my yarn inventory, um, the Excel sheet. And he's like, that's a good thing. You just got that promotion. He's like, you need it. (laughs) Like, wow, really came for me on that one. So exciting. Happy New Year that it's for us. But I think that's about it. And thank goodness all the pictures I have to add in for this episode are towards the beginning. Um, So I only have to watch like 10 minutes of us yammering on. Um, But hopefully we'll have regular podcasts for the coming year. And if there's any segments, I'll say I'm volunteering us for this gab, so I didn't clear it with you. But if there's any things you want to hear about us talk, let us know. Because I know some podcasters do like, what am I reading? What am I watching? Other kinds of updates. If you're interested in knowing those things about our lives, let us know. I would say we're pretty much open books. Um, Pun intended. I am watching Burn Notice. I'm Again. rewatching Criminal Minds, so here we are. And I am reading a book called Post Traumatic Quest about East Side San Jose to better understand my students and their childhoods. So I started Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> it's going well, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm also reading Never Lie by Frida McFadden because I'm basic. I want to be like the crazy sock lady, and she's reading Frida McFadden. <laughs> Okay. We also really, are, I'm still completely attached to the sweet Lauren's cookies. Oh yeah. Well. I think I'm on pack number nine since we started. Kaylee, there's one in my toaster oven waiting for me. For oh my God. I should make some except Letty made me cookies. So I should eat those first. Um, um, but let us know eating, watching, reading, anything that so you have questions about. I have a new exercise plan for 2024, which I'm happy to share about. Um, I signed up for another race. So Let us know. Ask us questions. It keeps it exciting for us, I will say. I don't know, Gabs, anything else you want to add? No, I don't think so. Ideas of videos you want to see us do. Mm -hmm. Those things, too. Oh, jokes. Then we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.